Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to add a logo in Shotcut Video Editor. So after watching this tutorial you will be able to add a logo or watermark to any video you want. So let's start. Once you open Shotcut you will see a screen like this. Over here you need to choose where you would like to save your project. Down here you need to choose the project name. I'm going to name this project Video 8. And then below you have to choose video mode, which means what resolution and how many frames per second. If you leave it as automatic, it will be automatically taken from the first clip you're going to import to your video. So once you set it up, hit start. And then two important things. First of all, make sure you are on editing tab. Second of all, once you go to view, make sure that all of these are selected because if I'm going to mention timeline in the later part of the video and you don't see timeline, it means you didn't turn it on over here. So once we set it up, we can go to playlist over here and then open the folder where you have your video file and your logo. So as you can see, my video file is here, my logo is over here. So all you need to do is drag the video file here to the playlist and then open the folder again and drag this uh, logo that you would like to add also onto the playlist. So as you can see my video and uh, logo are already added. We can see it in the preview over here. And don't worry if it's uh, lagging a little bit. It's normal on the preview. Once we export it, it will be all smooth. So the next step would be adding our video to the timeline. Timeline is down here. So make sure you are on timeline tab at the moment and then drag the video down here. Once you do this, a new video track called video one should be created. And you can zoom in on this video track by holding control and using your scroll or simply using this slider over here. Once we add our video, move your mouse to those three dashes over here, click on them, go to track operations and choose add video track. You can also press control I on the keyboard of your computer. And once we do this over here above, you should see video two. So on this track, we will add our logo. In order to do that, simply click on it and then drag it to this track. Once you do this, you should see that your logo is above the video. So before we change the size of it and opacity, and before we move it to the right top corner, let's expand this logo to cover all of the video. So in order to do that, just move your mouse to the end, to this red line at the end, and then drag it until the end of the video below. So now it covers all of the video. And now let's move to the next step, which is resizing it. In order to do that, click on the clip of the logo on the timeline, go to filters, click plus, and then in the search box above type size. Once you do this, it should find size, position, rotate. So click on it. And then over here below, you will see some settings. So over here you have the size. So you can simply change the size by typing the new size over here using those uh, arrows up and down over here or simply using a zoom to set up the new size. Alternatively, you could also do it on the screen over here. If you move your mouse to the left bottom corner of the box, you can simply resize your logo. So let me change it to this size maybe. And then we need to move this to the right top corner or any position you want. In order to do that, move your mouse to the center until you see that your cursor is those four arrows and then drag it to the right top corner or any other position you want. And as you can see right now, we already added the logo. So now when our video is playing, the logo will be in the right top corner. But of course, you may want this logo to be transparent. So let me show you how to do it. One more time, we need to click on our logo, then go to filters, hit plus, and in the search box, we type opacity. As soon as you start typing, it should find opacity filter. So just click on it. And then over here, Based on this, 100% means that it's not transparent at all. And if we lower it down, as you can see, the transparency changes. Uh, so let me change it to 30%. I would like it to be uh, transparent uh, where the logo is still visible. So I'm going to leave it as this. And now when we play it, as you can see, our logo is in the right top corner. 
opacity was set, uh, transparency is as we like it, so we can move to the next step, which is exporting the video. In order to do that, click on export over here, from the menu on the left side choose H.264 main profile and click export file. Type in the name of the video, choose the folder and then click save. Once you do this, on the right side under the jobs you should see that your task is being exported and once it exports, your video will be saved in the folder you chose. My video was just exported so let me show you how it looks. So as you can see there is logo in the right top corner, uh, the video is playing, the logo is transparent, so this is how you can add a logo in Shotcut Video Editor. Please let me know in the comments if you managed to add logo to your video and remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching!